So, you guys, so we're back for another video. Uh, so in this video, I thought it'd be different. I'm actually going to reteach Twinkle Twinkle Had a Little Star, but I'm going to teach it left-handed because I remember in the video, I was like, oh my God, like I can totally, um, I try to teach it with, with the right hand, the other way around. Oh, anyways, and like I remember saying in the video, I was like, I don't really remember what it's like to not be able to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But now that I just learned it and I played through it and stuff like that, I clearly remember what it's like. So, anyways. Um, so first of all, you probably have Suzuki Book One, I'm going to guess, right? And I'm highly doubting that, <laughs> that you read everything that is in the book. I'm just going to assume that you didn't read it. Well, we'll pretend you didn't read it, okay? Uh, but you can read that on your own time or something. I don't know, I can do that. But anyways, so first thing you're going to do is not play <laughs> what's written on the page because you're probably a beginner and there's already just too many things happening at once and you can't multitask all of it, right? So we're just going to play um, the, what is this called? Geros notes? I don't know what that's called in English. Got my jacket, my sweater's very gross. Um, also, I brought it back. Just like that. So you're going to go open string three, I mean, open string, open string one, open string three, and then three, two, one. That's it. Just doing that. I'll do it again. So. Just give me that. That's all you need, right? Because a lot of people, I think they'll probably start and then they'll automatically start going. Of course, I can do it, but you know they're just they they not know how to they don't know how to negotiate anything at the beginning, and then you're automatically teaching your body and getting confused and this kind of thing. So less is more. And so once you've done that, and then you're just going to do the same thing right here. And you're not going to use fourth finger like he says in the book. I don't think that's productive because the average person doesn't have the um, finger independence needed and the amount of control in the fingers to be trying to play fourth fingers. They're just going to play open and just go. Just doing everything in quarter notes, right? And so now we're going to get into something to be careful of. You're going to go um the very beginning again. And while, okay, so my hand is like this, right? So we're playing open on the E string with first finger. And so once we go to the open string, we have to be playing, but move over the three fingers to the A string, right? So I'll try to do it in slow motion. So it's going to be difficult. You're going to play one. I don't think you can see this. You're going to play one. And then while you're playing open E, you're going to move your fingers over to the edges. Right, so once you get all that done, then it's pretty simple. And so one thing you want to do is um, just being careful of how you're bowing. I would just recommend just doing the rhythm without anything. Just doing that. And be careful that you're not doing too much motion, because a lot of beginners will go. Da, 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 da. No. Make sure that the motion is very small and clean. And then you just have to put everything together, right? So. And then move over. three down. If you see, my third finger is still down. Hey, that was redemption! 
shit from a, about, about a week ago. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, that was much better. And everything to be careful of. Oh, um, just be kind of careful that your wrist is um, not too up here. I know a lot of people are going to try to hold it. Um, my hand in shoot. A lot of people are going to be trying to hold the instrument like this, but you kind of need to position your hand a little bit further back, and that'll help a lot. And again, if you see here, there's a lot of space in between. I'm not like this. A lot of people feel like this. So again, there's a lot of videos on my channel about, you know, technique and left hand and right hand and all of these things. And I don't know. I hope this video was helpful. It's a little bit different um, idea. I think they're the same ideas, but I kind of know a little bit better what the things are because I just learned it instead of having learned it like years ago. And um, if you have, there's like, a, I made a whole playlist for beginners, and if that's interesting, then you should go watch all of those videos. There's like bow holes and all these other type of things in there that you possibly need. Um, there's a lot of information in there, so go watch that if you need any other information. Anyways, happy practicing.